women have not had a lot of power in a lot of ways. And I think if it's done right and um, appropriately across the world and presented correctly, I think it's a great, great thing. Brie Larson as Captain Marvel. Not only did the movie have the largest worldwide opening for a female-led film, it had the sixth best worldwide opening of any film ever. Ever. So we're here in Austin, Texas during South by Southwest to find out what people think about the baddest Avenger on the block. And you're a Kree, a race of noble warriors. Heroes, noble warrior heroes. Right now we're going through this whole woman empowerment movement, which is an International Women's Day. So I, it's perfect. There are a lot of uh, male superhero movies nowadays that we rarely get to see, like female-driven superhero films. Like Wonder Woman came out like 2017, and this is 2019. And like thinking before that, there very, literally have been none, no super, no female superhero films at all. We had Wonder Woman when that came out. That was like super huge. I think that this is going to do that much more because again, I'm her name is Captain. You think of Captain as being a man. Okay, so Captain Marvel, and, and she's a woman, that means she is a leader. And that's going to be really big. I'm excited to see how strong and powerful like, she's going to be in this movie, because according to the comics, she is like one of the strongest. This is the one that comes out before Endgame, that there's a lot like to learn about Captain Marvel, since like everyone's hyping her up to be more powerful than Thor. According to my understanding, she has no weaknesses. Yes. That's my understanding, which is awesome because most women do not have any weaknesses. I think it's great that they're exploring a new option with a superhero with no weakness. I don't think it's like a bad idea. I think it's an interesting idea to explore. Yeah. I'm an old comic book reader. I already had to change from being you know, the whole male Captain Marvel to the female Captain Marvel, the whole thing. So I don't know. I didn't grow up thinking this is a male character. This is a uh, white character, a black character. I think that like this inclusivity, like seeing all these different kinds of superheroes, white, black, male or female, it, it, it inspires everyone and it allows everybody to kind of, I guess, enjoy them a little bit more. I mean, there's not necessarily that people are getting tired of like just the bulky white guy. <laughs> I think it's more like our time right now, we're trying to make everyone equal. I think it's definitely a really big, a big movie. Well, I'd like to see what happened with Black Panther, which obviously, I mean, me being from Oakland and from the San Francisco Bay Area, yeah. I saw what it did to the local community and it inspired a lot of the youth to do something different, to do something, to act. I hope it unites us. I hope that we can see that we're all fighting the same fight. You know what I mean? No matter what race, color, creed, we're fighting the same fight. You know, we're fighting against evil, we're fighting against the bad guys. So if we can all just kind of loop that in, we all feel connected. I fit in, you fit in. I just, you know, I think, I hope that that's what it can do.